is the stress of the last six weeks taking a toll on you and your family. You're not alone. Today, we decided to ask you to call us to tell us how are you doing. And I'd be today much more. Listen to every call. Hello? My name is John. Hi, this is Lorraine. Many of you jumped at the chance to vent, to tell me and everyone else just how tough it is right now. Um, I've been unemployed since March 15th. I just finally got a response from them and they, I'm ineligible. I have cancer. I'm sick. I'm not working because of the COVID. I mean, I'm at my wit's end. I work at a convenience store. It's been really rough because we take the chance of catching it with so many people coming in and out and taking it home to our family. Some of you miss going places. No, I haven't been anywhere for about two months now, but because of this uh, corona. While others are worried about reopening our state. My husband and I are both over 70. People are not wearing masks. They are wearing gloves and touching everything. I am heartbroken about the people that are out of work. But we can't do it too soon. Then there's those of you who find a way to stay positive. I'm still not sure when I'm going to start working again. While staying at home, I started making masks with my mom. Miguel in our community thought it would be fun to get together on the second hole of the North Course at Spanish Wells for sing-alongs. I know this will all pass. We will be able to get back to somewhat normal routines. Normal routine. So many people are waiting for some sense of a normal routine. Yeah, I think it's helpful for others to know that their concerns are, are not just their concerns. And right. then sometimes it gives you a little perspective when you hear about other people's worries and what they're going through. Yeah. Yours seem a little bit smaller sometimes. And the hope. And yeah. we'll all get through it somehow.